Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi, my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. Hope you guys are well and safe. Let's get right into your energy reading. Hope you guys are enjoying your beautiful Saturday. It is sunny where I am. Hopefully you guys are having some good weather. I know there's some snow in so certain parts of the world, but uh, finally the sun comes out, okay? Finally. Finally it's getting warmer where I am, so... Yeah, I'm feeling good about this energy, but I'm still going to clear out the energy for you guys, just in case you guys have any lingering energies around you or anybody's watching this video, sending dark energies to you guys or to myself. Let's get into it. Let's clear out the energy. Spirit guides, angels, join me now. Clear out the energy. Most High God, thank you. Let's get into this message. All right, so I got some messages written down, so let me get right into it. You guys, congratulations, because you defeated a warlock, you defeated a witch, you defeated a coven, you defeated demonic energies and entities that were trying to break you down spiritually, mentally, so that way you wouldn't take back your power and evolve and move forward with confidence, okay? So... Somebody's feeling intimidated by your aura and by your light, by your energy, by the fact that you speak enough for yourself. Uh, you're not settling for less. And you're rebuilding your life with confidence. So whoever you are, congratulations for taking back your power, speaking your truth, and rebuilding your life with confidence. Spirit said that you are the master bricklayer. Somebody could actually be a bricklayer, but Spirit said you're the master bricklayer. They thought it would be easy to break your spirit, but you're the master bricklayer. That means you rebuild yourself with strength and courage. That means that you transmute energies every chance that you get. And there's somebody here that could have been creating multiple different accounts in order to harass you, in order to troll you. And then I heard spirits say, uh, boo-hoo. Somebody is like upset. They're upset because you seem to be getting recognition. You see, you see like, okay, so... Yeah, they played a lot of tricks. They did a lot of things to like sabotage you, ruin and tarnish your image, make you look bad or your reputation. But you dealt with a lot of childhood trauma and you always had to defend yourself growing up all your life. So all your life you were a fighter. All your life you had to fight to survive, to defend yourself, all right, to protect what was yours. So it's nothing new for you to deal with these sort of energies. You've been dealing with these energies all your life of people that were always... Triggered by your light always felt like they need to, like, dim your light or they needed to, like, like I don't know, make you feel like you were not worthy, make you feel less than. But your confidence right now is at an all-time high, all right? And your psychic abilities and your skills, they're, like, you're mastering them. They're increasing. You're harnessing your energy, the energy, and you're transmuting it. So you're too legit to quit. That's what I heard. Too legit. Too legit to quit. Who sings that? MC Hammer? Wow. Okay, so too legit to quit. I feel like like you were very accurate with something that you said to somebody or you predicted something, but you were very accurate. So like you hit the nail right on the head. Okay, because I heard too legit, too legit to quit. MC Hammer. So uh, something about um, they're intimidated. There some there's a group of people or individuals that are intimidated by your realness. Okay, so when you're real, when you're genuine, when you're authentic. Okay, you're usually alone a lot. You usually don't have a lot of friends. You usually don't resonate with a lot of people. People don't resonate with you. Okay, so they thought it would be easy to break your spirit, but you are the master bricklayer. You're rebuilding yourself with confidence. Okay, 
And then I heard they expected to win, but they're not right within. Okay, so they expected to win. They expected to win at all costs. They expected to, you know, to uh, attract abundance and prosperity, but they, they didn't work on themselves. They were too busy projecting negative energy towards you. So uh, if you if you don't embody the light, if you're not out here putting out good energies, and the Most High God knows who, who we are. And God knows everybody's heart and spirit and their intentions. It doesn't matter how much they wear a mask and try to hide it uh, and try to fake it till they make it. Most High God knows who they are. Okay? So somebody here can't take their eyes off of you. This person is enamored by your energy. This person is uh, basically, they're impressed by you and your work. They can't take their eyes off of you. They feel like you're too good to be true. All right, this person knows that you're like an angel from heaven or like you were sent from heaven. This person wants to get near you. They want to get close. They want to get to know you. All right, this person might be uh, mustering up the courage to reach out or speak to you and come towards you. I don't think this is somebody that you were with romantically or you had a relationship with at all. This is somebody that you came across uh, once or twice, but never realized that this person was interested in you or they never told you that. They never really told you they were interested in you. Some of you guys never met this person, but they're watching you somehow online. This person is it, it's waiting. This person was like looking for a sign to approach you, but they got a sign from their ancestors to come towards you. Um, a karmic is struggling to. Uh, there's a karmic that's struggling to keep you stuck from your purpose because you're too busy getting right within. All right, this person has no clue about your spiritual protection, no clue about how your spiritual gifts work. This person doesn't realize that the more they come around you, the more your ancestors tell you things about them. So the people that come around you the most are the people that you're going to channel, the people that you're going to get messages about the most. That's what I heard. But somebody's close to you, and they really think that you are not getting the memo or that you're not reading them, but you are. You've been reading this person. So I'm going to read this poem really quickly because you guys are at the point of no return. You guys are not uh, taking something lightly. You're not accepting less. You're not um, going back and forth with karmic interferences in your life. All you want is peace. All you want is happiness. All you want is to, that's what I heard, I just want to be successful. I just want to be successful. That's Drake. Somebody could be a Scorpio you're dealing with or you have Scorpio on your chart. But you just want to be successful, but somebody else, you know, they think that they can stop you from this. They think that they can um, slow something down. They, all they did was increase your blessings for you. Lessons learned, okay? The point of no return. Choose yourself before you lose yourself. That's what I heard. Uh, Eminem, um, choose, yourself, uh, choose yourself before you lose yourself. Who sings that? Oh, I heard check yourself before you wreck yourself. Who sings that? Okay, so somebody needs to check themselves before they actually wreck themselves when it comes to you. All right, the point of no return, lessons learned, credits earned. Now you discern right from wrong. You are being tested all along. Remain strong. Look to God. Never follow the leader down a dark path or you will feel the, the wrath. Do the math. They were never meant to last. Complicated situations turning into higher elevations forced you to awaken. The ground beneath you is shaken. Grab your crown and hold it tight. People coming left and right. Use your light to blind their eyes. Don't believe their lies. You are heaven's angel protected by archangels. Wow. Okay. So somebody was trying to dim your light. Okay. But somebody was trying to send you some sort of evil eyes. But they got blinded by your light. Something backfired immediately to this person. They try to put you in a lot of complicated situations. But it only caused you to reflect, evolve, and awaken. Brought you to higher elevations. Wow. So it feels like they're trying to create some, con somebody's trying to create some sort of conflict, chaos, disruption. They want you to lose something. They want you to uh, give it up or stop doing something or like not have motivation, not having, not, not to be inspired or encouraged, not to be able to inspire or encourage other people. Maybe they never wanted you to get into your power because of this energy that you embody naturally. You naturally embody this beautiful energy of strength, power, confidence, okay, and determination. You're the regulator, 
Okay, you, you show up and you get things done. You're not a procrastinator. Somebody wants you to procrastinate. Somebody wants you to be low vibrational and fatigue and, and not inspired. They don't want you to definitely be inspired so you cannot inspire other people because your purpose, your path was to be a powerful leader, teacher, healer, motivational force for other people. That's who you are. You're a beacon of light and darkness. And that's why they're so triggered by your light. That's why they're so bothered by you. That's why they're like... Flying monkeys everywhere you go. The watchers everywhere in every corner. People coming towards you left and right with the bullshit. Like, yeah, you can see right through it. Whoever you are, you're getting a message or somebody's reaching out to you. Okay? Because you have inspired somebody. By this person watching you or following you or taking your advice, you have inspired someone to put themselves in a leadership position, or you inspired someone to get into their purpose and confidence and speak their truth and get into their... uh to the right path, okay, so, or you could be inspired, you could be inspired, somebody could have inspired you, okay, but you're a free spirit, all right, and something is making you excited, because you're about to get some good news messages, you have financial freedom, or somebody's freed from a situation, your name's being cleared, mm, yo, they was trying to tarnish your name, yeah, this queen of pentacles in the reverse, 1111, I just saw on my clock again, just like yesterday, 1111 is very significant for you guys, Somebody was, uh, thought they were financially, uh, they were like, this person was financially independent. This person was doing good for themselves. But when this person started to work up against you because they were triggered by your light, they were very sneaky. The card came out in reverse. All right. Because this person has been caught by your ancestors or this person has been caught by the authorities and they're, they're giving some sort of statement or confession because they want to get out of a situation towards Virgo Capricorn, male or female. Because they, they're experiencing some sort of emotional loss. They wanted to cause you emotional loss and emotional blockages, okay? By making you second guess or question yourself, by doing the most. But you are the nine of cups. You were genuine with this person. You could have been good to this person. Some of you guys, this person has been a hater behind the scenes, all right? This person pretends to be like a supporter, or they did, like they support you, or like they, you know, they were uh, impressed by something you were doing or something you accomplished. But really, this person was a secret hater. This person went behind the scenes to sabotage things, to do uh, underhanded things to you, all right? Also, had a group of people trolling you online, okay? But you're the Nine of Cups. I heard Justin. Justine. I heard Louise or Louis. Somebody could be from Louisiana, Indiana. I heard George, Georgie, Joseph, Daryl, Carol. The chariot moving forward. You got you. You're moving forward with the nine of cups. Because whatever this person tried to get away with or whatever they tried to do in your energy, your ancestors caught them and gave you the memo. So you did what you had to do to clear out your energy, to clear out your space, to make sure that this person did not sabotage something you had going on by creating some sort of false uh, narrative. This person could have been trying to play victim so you would let them in your energy, so you would feel sorry for them, so you would help them. And you guys are very genuine and loving and good-hearted. So you could have, like, extended your energy to this person to help them in a situation because you really thought this person was some sort of victim, but they were just pretending. Even after you helped this person, they went behind the scenes, behind your back, to talk bad about you, to put you down, to make you look like, you know, you were the bad guy or, like, you were rude to them or, like, you were this evil which but you're the you're the freaking queen of wands in the upright with the chariot in the upright and the nine of cups this is why they were they were so uh determined to slow your relationship down with somebody they were so determined to end the connection for you with your with your soulmate they were so determined to manipulate a child to go against you or use children against you yeah a son in the reverse leo gemini libra aquarius towards virgo capricorn all right, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is here. The judgment in the reverse. All right, this person wanted you to self-doubt, like to doubt yourself. Self-doubt, or this person has a lot of self-doubt, inner criticism, lack of self-awareness. 
Yeah, this person is definitely not right within. This person needs to clear out their energy, heal their, like do some shadow work. Because they're not they're not wanting to reflect. They don't want to take accountability for something. They just want to blame you for something. All right? Or they just want to bring you this woe is me energy, boo-hoo energy. But you already took back your energy from this person. So they're trying to figure out how they can come in again and somehow leave a dark energy in your home or sabotage your energy, make you feel bad. No. All right? Because also this person, you know, this person might be coming towards you with a... What a fake cup of love. What a page of cups energy in the reverse. They really don't have anything to offer. They really don't um, have any um, good intentions for you. They just really don't want you to be happy with the soulmate that you're about to be with or that you're with. So this person want to come, male or female, come into your life to slow it down for you, to sabotage it, to give you some bad information about somebody here. Before they come in, they really don't want you to have the ten of cups because this person's foundation is crumbling. They're losing stability. They're losing money. Then I heard restraining order. So somebody here might have to get a restraining order on someone because they lost complete power and control over you. This person is feeling powerless, all right? So some of you guys might need to get a restraining order on someone. And somebody here might have a restraining order already on somebody and they're feeling powerless, all right? Because they collaborated with the Dark High Priestess, let her be your J. I heard Brandon, Brenda. Billy. Bison? I don't know what bison is, but I heard bison. The Ace of Wands in the upright. And the Nine of Pentacles. So if you sleep with this person, they're going to make you lose money. They're going to deplete you of your energy. They're going to put you in this karmic cycle again. So they're hoping that they can come to get into your energy, either to sleep with you or to get close enough to you to transfer something to you. Whether this is a fake friend, family member, or a lover, they want to come and get so close to you that they transfer something to you. But for a lot of you guys, I'm feeling like this person, male or female, want to sleep with you and deplete you of your Ace of Pentacles, lie on you, or that somebody could have lied on you to somebody that they actually slept with you but they never did somebody's finding out the truth that this person just did that to keep this other person from wanting to work with you or, or investing you and this causing a major tower now somebody's taking a leap of faith moving forward you took a leap of faith and now you have something to celebrate a major blessing something's going in your favor all right good news the King of Pentacles is coming through for somebody here because this King of Pentacles was delayed by some sort of karmic interferences. Whether they were delayed by karmic interferences in your energy or in their energy, they were definitely delayed from coming in. All right? Yeah, because this karmic wanted to do some sort of work, spe separation spells or spell work, all right, to keep this person stuck in a karmic cycle or to break your relationship up with the person that you were meant to be with so you guys can have disagreements and arguments. But what's happening is that they're having disagreements in their household. They're having arguments. They're having endings. They're having tower moments. What they planned for you is happening to them. Yeah, focus. Avoid the distractions, my love. Focus. All right. Sudden death to this dark witch. Ooh. Messages of love in the upright. You're getting good news. All right. The dark high priestess has been defeated. Mm. Ding dong. The witch is dead. The witchy witch is dead. Somebody's name could be Dorothy. Somebody's name could be Donna. Raven or Rachel. Sonia. Grandpa and jealous ex. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody's grandfather could be... Somebody's grandfather watching this video is protecting you from the spirit realm. It's giving you messages or it's going to show up in your dream state. All right? Because your jealous ex was doing too much. Working with this dark high priestess. Lying about you to your family members or your children. All right? Or whoever... Yeah. Somebody's daughter in the reverse with somebody's jealous ex here. Yeah. Somebody's having a child. All right, somebody could be getting pregnant from somebody's jealous. All right, somebody could have got pregnant from your ex. This could be somebody close to you in your family. You're finding this out, all right? Or they had a child, but they lied about who the father was. And somebody's finding out that somebody in your family's child was actually your ex's child. Uh, or somebody got an abortion because they got pregnant from somebody's partner, lover, or ex. What the heck? New home. And you're chosen for something. You are chosen. You're chosen for a major purpose. The number 444. You're being chosen. All right. Stand in your power. Yeah, they had a secret baby behind the scenes and tried to cover it up. You're awakening. Stay focused. 
Inheritance. Yeah, these secrets are coming out to the light. <laughs> secrets about your inheritance. Chew, trying to steal your actual inheritance. Could be property, home, or assets. Or it could have been trying to steal your spiritual inheritance. Cheater, liar, thief, trying to take from you through your sacral chakra. Deceitful family involved. They send this person towards you, this ex. And you are waking to the red flags, whoever you are. You have evolved, okay? Yeah, and this is your message. It's not going to be a long video, okay? Um, if you guys are interested in personal reading, mentoring sessions, or counseling services, reach out to me. My email is down below. If you're interested in the Crown Chakra Protection Spray, it is available. It is available with the Be Gone Spiritual Bath. Uh, let me know if you're interested. But family members got in the way of your life, but they can no longer control and manipulate you. All right? Somebody believed really... Somebody really believed the gossip about you that this person that was close to you was spreading. I heard Tori or Lori. Tasha. Kayla. Keisha. Keisha. Don or Donnie. I heard Mindy. Somebody's name could be Mindy. You're going to get an unexpected from a visit from somebody because the grass was definitely not greener. And uh, they were too busy listening to Elijah gossip. All right. But it's been so long and this person needs to talk to you. Yeah, the family definitely got away in the way of this connection. A karmic feminine got in the way of this connection, but they're all experiencing major tower moments. Okay, so expect to hear from somebody here. All right, expect to hear from somebody that's admiring you. All right, for your strength, for your diligence, for your hard work. They've been inspired by you. They want to come in and let you know that. All right, so you are attracting eternal love. Well, you will grow old together with this individual, okay? This is your soulmate. You have great blessings coming, my loves. And this karmic is so furious, I can't make it up, all right? They were protesting that you they didn't want you to be in this position. They didn't think you deserved this position. You weren't good enough for this position. They were protesting. Why Why? Why does it got to be the Aries? Why, the, why him? Why her? Why not me? Pick me. Yeah, they're protesting. But it's too late. It's too bad. All right? Because actually, they wanted to cause you stress and fear. But they're under heavy judgment. They're stressed out. They're in fear. They don't know what's going to come next. Okay? Because your ancestors is not playing. All right? They wanted you to be lonely. They're going to end up lonely. Because nobody wants to deal with this karmic. Because this karmic put a whole bunch of people on the dark path. And they're all getting karma for listening to this one person that really uh, sabotaged it. They wanted to sabotage you. All right, so thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Thank you for your love, donation, gifts, and your comments. Till the next time, namaste.